and then all of a sudden, dust to dust comes on and you're just like, Oh my God. I actually feel like the drumming in this song is some of my favorite, even though it's the simplest, because I've been listening to a lot of Pantera and Vinnie Paul lately, and I try to incorporate that style of drumming into this song. I found that I just wanted to have something that pounded you directly with like a straight beat. It's like, it's, it's that slow down song in the album that just happens and it's just like, it needs to happen right there and it's so sludgy and fucking good. The chorus is just brutal. It's like, the lyrics on that chorus are just, they're gross, they're disgusting, they're um, basically saying I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna be very happy that I killed you. Just like, yeah, it's sludgy, it's fucking fantastic and I guess Danny must have been listening to some fucking crazy sludgy music that day. I told Paco, I'm like, just hit me with something quick. He came back, he says, how's this? He's, it was like his first take. He's like, how's that? I said, that's perfect. A devil made me do it. Holy shit. When I first heard the opening riff to this song, I was like, Jesus Christ, how the fuck am I gonna play this goddamn thing? Cause it's so fast. It has a lot of complex riffing. It's also got some of the toughest drumming on the whole album because Simon comes in and goes, I'm gonna jump around, we're gonna do like this little mini solo together almost, where I'm constantly filling on the drums while the guitar is constantly moving around the neck. There's so many fills, there's so many notes. It's very technical. It's like a slingshot effect. Chaotic until that chorus happens. It reminds me of the band Nevermore. I feel like Vicky almost sounds like Warold Dane. In the first half, she's singing all sweet, peacefully, I'm drawing you in. Being kind of like, ooh. Um, this is interesting, this is nice, uh, should I do it, should I not do it? And then she shows you what she can really do, and she's full on, epic. It's kind of like, yeah, do it. It just gives me shivers every time. That's what I love about this song, it's something that everyone deals with, where you're kind of like, you know something's not good for you, but you want to try it anyways. The Killing Eye is a song that I turn to when I'm listening to the album, where I just want to fucking thrash. This one falls into what we like to call Paco's gasoline rock. gas o -lean. Pedal to the metal, American, just driving metal. Paco wrote this song from front to back. It's fast, energetic. In his mindset, he was probably dreaming that he was driving a motorcycle through the desert. Maybe there's a beer in the back. At a million kilometers an hour. Biker metal meets melodic death metal. Me and Vicky wrote lyrics together um, on that song. Simon wrote lyrics to it first, and he's like, I'm listening to Paco's song, and every time I play Paco's song, it just makes me angry. And I'm like, fuck my life, I hate this. So he sends me his lyrics, and I'm reading them, and I'm like, why are you so angry? We'll leave it up to you guys to interpret what you think of it. I feel that's definitely one of the angrier songs on the album, and it's the kind of song that you would want to Skip two on the album if you're looking for a bit of adrenaline and you want it right away. Gasoline metal. What I love about Orphans... It's melodic, it's dark, it pulls you in. It's probably the darkest song on the album. The lyrics are very visual, they put you in a different place. The vibe of the music just takes you into this like very negative space almost. The song is beautiful. I remember talking to Simon, I was just like, I really want that intro to like shine in terms of rhythm section. The way the kick drum and the bass is just so connected and that they're like, they are one. The chorus was something that I wrote on an acoustic guitar on my couch and literally played probably for two hours when I did it. And I was like, ah, yes, this is my type of song. This is something I can work with. I wrote the lyrics to it, I wrote the vocals, I sent it back. I told her right away, this is amazing, don't change a thing. Everyone loved it, and it gave me that sort of confidence boost to, to move on. You know, once that song was written, I was like, beautiful. And I still get chills now whenever I hear that part. We want to end with something that leaves you wanting to listen to the album again. It leaves you wanting more of the Agonist. The vocal range in this song is just incredible. It goes everywhere. It starts pow and it ends pow. The chorus is just such a fucking killer chorus. The lyrics are sort of saying this very negative thing, burn it all down, you know, like you don't why would you want to burn it all down? Fucking burning it all down? Why, why wouldn't you fucking burn it all down? The line says, burn it all down, so at last we will see the skies. The emotion of just leaving behind everything that was 
you know, not helping you and in your way. And blocking your vision to, to see the positive in life and then that got burnt down and suddenly you're like, oh, it's clear, everything's gonna be okay. I feel what she is saying in the way that she's singing what she's saying. It's fucking crazy and it's amazing. <laughs>